Hi guys, it's Ian with Photo Cycling. I'm here to talk about my Alpine Stars Tech Aero Backpack. I'm going to do a quick overview and then I'm going to talk about some of the reasons why I got this backpack. So just to um, give you a heads up, I am about 5'3", um, and so I'm pretty short, so therefore this backpack was perfect for me in my opinion because it wasn't too small and it wasn't too big. So within the Al Alpine Stars blind, it would be kind of in the middle versus um, uh, versus a, a big backpack. So here we go. First off, the bottom is made of a protective, thick, rubberized material. And I really like this because all the weight of all my items in the backpack go all the way at the bottom. And when you put the backpack down, it's going to help protect those the bottom of the backpack. So um, it will protect wear and tear. And it will last a little bit longer. Next up, um, I will talk about this. This is the helmet pocket. I'll show you later how that works, and when we get there, I'll show you how it looks inside. First, you have the uh, front of the backpack is a neo. It's kind of like um, a nylon material that's pretty durable. You have some white plastic accents right here, or rubber accents. You also have black rubber, plastic rubber as well on top of the backpack. Of course, you have your Alpine Stars logo. This part right here is kind of a metal looking part. I believe it's reflective, but don't quote me on that. The next pocket is water resistant, the smaller pocket top. It's, um, it is accessed through a water resistant zipper. It's a very soft material, not felt like, but it's soft enough to hold things like your sunglasses or your iPod or your MP3, uh, any other MP3 players. If you were to put an MP3 player in here, you can certainly feed your earbuds or your headphones to, to this little pocket right here and you can see my little finger and that will um, allow you to listen to music while you're writing. And then moving on to the next pocket, the next pocket is a big compartment, the main compartment of your back, of this backpack. And it's also accessed through a water resistant zipper. And as you can see the bottom right here Everything in this backpack has these little tags to kind of give you suggestions or recommendations what to put in those pockets or what their intended was, their intention when they made this backpack. Uh, in here you can fit tools such as an Allen wrench or an extra screwdriver in case you need it along your journey. This bottom backpack right here, this bottom pocket, I don't know if you see my fingers tapping right there. That's another pocket for change, loose change or extra cash. This pocket over here is another pocket that you can put other tools that you feel this pocket does not carry. This pocket right here is for a power brick or a power supply for your laptop or camera or anything else you may need. This pocket right here is something, it's a pretty big deep pocket. You can put things like an extra towel, extra socks, an extra t-shirt. And then it, that pocket is closed by this Velcro right here. And there's one other pocket on this side right here. This one is a full Velcro across. I would keep things such as their, that may be loose and it could be flying around, such as pens, extra memory cards, extra batteries. All those can go in here and then you can just close this up and it'll keep it locked in there and it won't be moving around. The last pocket is the biggest pocket in the main compartment and that is for your laptop. My laptop is 13.3 inches and it, if I put it in here you can see it's very much swimming. This pocket has is a neoprene elastic uh, material. And it's, at the moment I put this down, you can still see there's so much more room here for either a 15 inch or a 17 inch laptop even. The 17 might be tight on the wider part of the laptop, but I believe it can still fit because this actually stretches pretty well. So that's the laptop compartment. And that's the main compartment. The one thing I wish the main compartment had was a, light, a brighter color, such as orange of some kind or white, so I can see my materials, items in my backpack much easier. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to zip this back up and then we're going to keep moving on with the backpack. The next part is this pocket up here and this is actually... Oh, I forgot to mention. I apologize. This backpack does come... Let's move back to the main compartment real quick. It does come with a back protector, so therefore there's a pocket right in here. The zipper right here. That's how you access your back protector. It comes with a plastic right now, but you can upgrade to a premium back protector made by Alpine Stars. Now moving back to the rain fly pocket on the outside. I pull this out, it goes over the entire backpack and as you can see it has the Alpine Stars logo with reflectivity. So therefore this backpack 
is obviously not waterproof. It's water resistant with these zippers. But with the Rainfly, it makes it a little bit more waterproof for you. Moving to the back of the backpack. The back starts, this is a hand, um, the handle is made of a neoprene soft material. It is connected to both of your shoulder straps. <coughs> the shoulder straps are also made of this line line on the, on the top. It has these little loops where you can hang your D-rings or little pouches such as this one. You can put like a jackknife or some kind of small tool in here that you might need. On the back of the shoulders are made of this mesh material to help with ventilation <coughs> to keep the heat off of your body or sweat. The same thing here is on the whole entire back of the backpack. It's got also a mesh material and that helps with ventilation. These little channels can also aid increase in ventilation. <coughs> the bottom two little straps right here also have a mesh material for ventilation and this is your waist straps. On each side of the waist strap has these little pockets to keep su things such as your maybe power bars, some fruit bars, some kind of snack that you can put in here, a cookie of some kind so you can munch on if you're waiting for a train, a freight train for 15 minutes while you're sitting on your bike. And then also this is your sternum strap. It snaps in like this. As you saw me unbuckle earlier, it buckles in like this and it sits on the front of your chest. This little part right here actually opens up and actually has more pockets for you to put change or credit cards. I use this pocket down here. Sometimes I use it for either a map so I can open up and see my directions that I printed down out or what, what have you. But I also use this for my iPad since I live in Illinois and I just literally go through the toll as my bike is still moving, flop it open, read the iPad, <coughs> excuse me, flop it back up and I keep riding. And then the last but not least, the expandable function of this backpack. If I, there's a zipper on the side right here. If I unzip the whole entire part of the backpack, as you can see, it, it actually expands out to an extra six liters or so. Okay? Well, last but not least, I will show you what the helmet pocket looks like with the helmet inside of it. So back to the helmet pocket in the front here. If I unzip this, the pocket consists of a elastic material, stretchy. It's pretty stretchy. Kind of new, not neoprene, but it's more clothy. So what have, how you use this is you take, I have a full face helmet in size medium. You take the front of the helmet and you put it into the pocket like this. Push it towards for, forward and you'll see that this bends up a little bit, but that's normal, that's fine. And make sure the elastic part right here is behind the, the, the farthest part of the backpack. These straps right here go over the backpack. <clears throat> like so. I'm making sure it's actually going to go down. Um, and then these buckles on the straps actually buckle in at the top of the backpack where the rain fly was. And then the other side, do the other side as well. Once you've gotten your helmet situated, and these are not twisted like I have had it here, make sure it's straightened out. I'm just doing it for demonstration. Take this, this part of the strap right here and just pull it to tie it down. Pull it to tighten it down. It holds the backpack in. As you can see, I'm shaking it and it is pretty uh, well started strapped down there. It's not really tightly strapped down there yet because I, you know, it's for demonstration. And that's pretty much what the backpack looks like. Now, some of the key features why I bought this backpack, besides the fact that I'm short, <coughs> excuse me, and this fit pretty, pretty well on my body, is this helmet pocket right here. It was great in my opinion and it was perfect. I've walked around Walmart with it. And the other thing was that this can hold my iPads for me so I don't have to get a tank uh, pocket. I also like the fact that it's built where the weight is down towards my waist. And the last but not least is the expandability of this backpack. It's 16 liters and it can expand to 23 liters, which I thought was great. So some of the, those are some of the reasons why I bought this backpack. If you have any questions, let me know and uh, I'll...